so the sandbox is right now in a very very strong pump here towards much higher levels the question now is how far can we actually push here in the very very short term and why do we have a price target for sand all the way up at around 8.66 us dollars so in this video guys we are once again back with the sandbox ticker symbol sand and we will be doing a sand price prediction and technical analysis if you guys enjoy these sand updates and want to see more of them it's always super super awesome and helpful when you show that by dropping a like and real real quick before we get started here i just have to give a disclaimer this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only nothing in this video is financial advice but all right guys now let's get started right away here and right now we are looking at the four hour time frame and we have some super interesting signs happening right now actually on the four hour but to start this video off i do want to take a look at the daily because if we look here at the most recent candles let's actually zoom in a bit here we can see here that the last couple of days we have been having three very strong green candles you can see first one you know plus 15 percent yesterday plus 16 percent and right now as we're speaking we are trading up around 13 percent so a very strong push uh, from the sandbox recently and the first thing I do want to do in this video is that I want to say a big, big congratulations to everyone holding sand. If you are holding the sandbox, you can let me know down in the comments below. First of all, if you are holding or not, and you can also let me know for how long you have been holding. If you want to drop that down in the comments below. Now, since we're seeing such a strong force to the upside right now as we're speaking, let's start by taking a look at some target levels that we need to pay attention to today. And the first target, we are actually getting very, very close to our first target we can actually pretty much see here that we saw a tiny tiny pullback already at this target level and this one we talked about already in our previous sand update so you may wonder you know where is this target at 4.35 us dollar from where did i even get this level from well what i did to get that target is basically that i used the fibonacci tool from our most recent swing high you can see the high we printed here november 3rd down to the very low here and then you can see we will get some fibonacci extension levels the first fibonacci extension this is the 1.618 and this is a very common uh, method that traders use when something breaks an all-time high you can see yesterday we broke all-time high uh, and this one would give the sandbox a target here of around 4.35 US dollars. So that is where we get our first target from here. And we are very soon ready to take a look at why we have some higher targets. For example, we have one target at 5.80. And we will also take a look at why we actually have a target all the way up at 8.66. Real, real quick before doing that, however, I do want to point out one thing, uh, one sort of warning sign you can pay attention to. And that is if we reverse where we are right now. So this is a sort of a hypothetical. So if we reverse where we are right now, then we print one high and then a higher high on the price, right? If you take a look at the RSI indicator, so this is an indicator that measures momentum, you can see that we get lower momentum on the RSI, and also if you look down to the MACD, we can see that the MACD also prints a lower high. So higher highs on the price, lower highs on the indicators, that is something we actually call a bearish divergence, which indicates a reversal here to the downside. So if we reverse right here, that would be a bearish variable. How do we actually avoid this bearish sign? Well, in order to avoid this one, we need to push uh, even higher. We need to push up the RSI. We need to push up the MACD. And then we will avoid this bearish divergence. But this is just, but you know, overall, it still looks, you know, very, very bullish. But I feel like I have to point out, you know, everything I see here on the chart. So there's one little thing to pay attention to. And we can add that note, we can take a look at, you know, as in crypto, it can go very fast up, so it can go very fast to the upside, but it can also fall very fast to the downside. So let's take a quick, quick look at the most important support level, in my opinion. And that is this zone right here, in between around 3.32 to 3.15 US dollars. Why am I looking out for this zone? Well, this is the most sort of key support in the short term, in my opinion. This one basically comes from, we can see that this one acted as support here around November November 17. And we saw this one as resistance November 13. Also resistance multiple times here in the beginning of November. So this is a pretty sort of clear uh, zone that have been acting both as resistance, oops, as resistance and support. So if we start to fall here, I would definitely pay attention to this 3.32 to 3.15. But as you can see here, we don't really have many support levels. Uh, so we are, you know, in a very volatile area. But all right, okay, so now let's just return to where do we actually get the 8.66 level from? And where we get that from is actually from the exact same 
you can see the exact same swing high to swing low we talked about earlier here. So we use the Fibonacci tool from the same swing. Um, and if we continue this process, we can get some more target levels. So if the sandbox managed to push above 4.35, then the next level I am paying attention to is the 2.618 Fibonacci extension. This one would give a surprise target of 5.80. We can still continue this process. So if we break the 2.618, then we of course have the 3.618 Fib extension. This one gives sand a price target of around 7.26. And we can actually continue this one once more. So if we break 7.26, then we can look out for the 2.618, which gives us a price target of around 8.66. However, one thing I do wanna point out about the FIB extension is that the more further away we go from the price here, the more sort of speculative these FIB extensions become. So in my opinion, the most significant one is the 1.618, and we can see that this is where we are right now. So super key level to pay attention to in the short term. Uh, and yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this sand update. Uh, if you feel like you got any kind of help or value, then please consider dropping a like. And if you guys are interested in more, then don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope you guys, guys have an awesome, awesome day, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. But for now, guys, take care. Ciao, ciao.